of uh, this European summit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, very, la very large on the agenda of this uh, European Council loomed the stabilization of the um, Economic and Monetary Union. We were envisaging to do that already in June, put it on the agenda, and I um, am delighted to know that this stabilization and uh, in so doing also the further development of uh, the European Monetary and uh, European um, Monetary Union um, actually is one of the pillars underpinning um, uh, further economic and fiscal consolidation. We envisage to clarify, to identify those questions that are still to be clarified until the December meeting to decide on the necessary time frame. Uh, and uh, then in December, we will uh, further specify the individual steps to be taken as regards banking supervision, which is one of the pillars of the further development of uh, EMU. We decided on a staged approach um, which abides by the principle of um, uh, quality taking precedence over speed. That means uh, we will not have um, a functioning banking supervision at the beginning of 2013 yet, um, not yet up and running, but we want to um, have a legal framework in place which will allow us to build on this um, in order to complete this uh, banking supervision. Only once uh, this um, is in place, uh, uh, the supervision can then be established. And after that, recapitalization, direct recapitalization of the banks can, from the ESM uh, can be rendered operational. This whole discussion uh, that we had and where, in the end, we came to agreement um, actually um, meant that we were not only trying to sort of bargain for additional days or months, but it, this was about having a solid foundation. Um, first, have the legal framework in place, then um, a supervisory mechanism uh, up and running. And once this is actually functioning, then direct recapitalization um, ought to be uh, put in place. So the right sequence um, is important um, because that only ensures reliability uh, to those who obviously uh, keeping a very close eye on us and on the changes uh, within the union. Uh, we then discussed uh, further elements on uh, further developing um, economic and monetary union, questions of fiscal discipline, first and foremost. Um, in the conclusions, we say uh, we need an integrated um, a fiscal framework, which is uh, one part of um, the integrated um, European and monetary, economic and monetary union. Um, then consultations with the member states will take place. The Commission will um, explore uh, this in the next few weeks to come. Part and parcel of that is also an appropriate so-called fiscal capacity, um, if you like. It's a solidarity fund that will allow us to boost competitiveness in individual member countries. We want to strengthen economic coordination. And in order to be able to do that, um, binding reform obligations will be agreed between the Commission and the member states. Uh, this obviously needs to be given the necessary democratic legitimacy. All of these are points that, from a German perspective, are essential um, for a functioning economic and monetary union. Uh, We've addressed those in December. We will uh, discuss that at greater detail and specify this and then agree on this um, as well. We also talked about Greece. I uh, had a personal meeting with the Greek Prime Minister this morning. Uh, he gave me a briefing on progress made in implementing the individual measures that were agreed. And we explained that once these measures um, are implemented, are in place, uh, we will, Greece it will have a very good chance to further develop within the euro area. There is that certain things are, remain yet to be done, but quite a lot has already been done, and uh, they are really uh, putting um, their everything into this. They are really making an all-out effort, as the Troika has also said.